MPFL reconstruction using 3.9 mm biocomposite swivel lock anchors and the ACL tightrope implant. Palpate the medial patellar border and make a 2 mm skin incision from the superomedial corner extending to the center of the medial edge of the patella. The short 2.4 mm guide pin may be drilled with the patella guide or freehand. Position the parallel drill guide against the patella and adjust so that the first guide pin will be placed at a 0.3 mm distal to the proximal medial corner of the patella. If drilling without the parallel guide, the first laser mark on the guide pin is used to ensure proper guide pin depth. If using the parallel guide, drill the 2.4 mm guide pin to the second laser etch mark off the parallel guide. The longer guide pin is placed 15 to 20 mm distal and parallel to the first guide pin using the parallel guide. The parallel guide is removed and both 2.4 mm guide pins are over-drilled with a 4.0 mm cannulated reamer to the laser etch line. Pass the suture tails of one graft end through the eyelet of the first 3.9 mm swivel lock anchor and push both the graft and anchor into the proximal drill hole until the eyelet is fully seated. Maintain tension on the suture limbs and screw the swivel lock anchor into the patella. Before inserting the second swivel lock anchor, loop the tightrope implant over the free end of the graft. Repeat the swivel lock insertion procedure with the second graft end. A template is placed on the medial epicondyle on the distal femur, and under fluoroscopic guidance, a 4.0 mm spade tip guide pin is targeted at Shutley's point and is drilled across the femur and out the lateral epicondyle. The pin should be aimed slightly proximal and anterior to avoid the intercondylar notch. Identify the space between the vastus medialis and the capsule and bluntly dissect towards the femoral insertion area with a scissor, leaving the capsule intact. A 1 cm longitudinal incision is made at the level of the 4.0 mm spade tip guide pin. The 6 mm low profile reamer is then used to create a socket extending to the far cortex. The 4 mm spade tip guide pin is maintained in the femur as it will be used to pass the tightrope sutures and graft into the femur. The right angled clamp is inserted through the patellar incision and posterior through the femoral incision. Using the right angled clamp, pass a looped number 2 tiger wire shuttle suture to the patellar insertion area. Load the white and blue suture from the tightrope into the tiger wire shuttle suture loop and pass the sutures from the patellar incision to the medial femoral incision. Deliver the sutures out of the medial femoral incision with equal tension on both graft bundles. Loop the blue passing sutures from tightrope into the eyelet of the 4 mm spade tip pin, leaving white tensioning suture behind. Prior to the graft entering the femoral socket, use a clamp as a pulley to pre-tension the graft and insert it into the socket with equal tension on both graft bundles as the tightrope button is pulled through the lateral cortex. Slowly pull the tightrope tensioning sutures until the graft is pulled into the tunnel. It is very important to maintain equal tension on both graft bundles during this step to ensure proper biomechanics of the patellofemoral joint. Cut the excess suture and fixation is complete.